This presentation reviews the components and setup of your new EasyScreen. The EasyScreen system and many of the accessories arrive packaged in a custom designed carry case. The carry case provides protection during shipping and allows easy transport of the system for those who carry the system to various locations. Inside the case, you will find the EasyScreen device the charging cradle and its power supply with a variety of plug adapters, the ABR preamplifier. You will find the acoustic transducer that was included in the system configuration you chose at the time of purchase. This will either be the insert earphones with ear cup adapters, as shown in this picture, or the insert earphones with ear tip adapters, as shown here. If your system configuration includes TEOAE or DPOAE, then an OAE probe will be included. ABR electrode lead wires will be included with the system. Depending on the system configuration you purchased, various supplies and cleaning kits will be included. It is unlikely that you will receive all of these listed here, but you will receive those that apply to your system. A USB drive included with your system contains the HearSim installation software. This is a PC application that can be used to configure custom settings on your EasyScreen device. It also provides a database for saving and managing your EasyScreen screening results. The USB drive also contains electronic copies of the various manuals and quick guides. The USB cable is used to connect the EasyScreen to the PC for transfer of screening data into the database or for transferring custom settings from HearSim to the EasyScreen device. If your purchase included the wireless printer option, it will be present in the package with its rechargeable battery, power supply with plug adapters and two rolls of label paper. Manuals and quick guides will be found. Only the materials appropriate for your system configuration will be included. The first step in assembling your system should be to fully charge the EasyScreen. The fastest way to charge the EasyScreen is to place it on the power charging cradle. Connect the plug adapter suited for your region onto the cradle power supply and insert the micro USB plug into the micro USB port on the back of the cradle. Plug the power supply into the wall outlet. Note that an LED on the right side of the cradle will light when it's plugged in. Place the EasyScreen into the cradle so that it's set securely inside the raised guides. When EasyScreen is charging, you will see a lighted LED in the bottom left corner when the device is switched off. If the device is switched on, then you will see a charging battery symbol in the upper right corner of the touchscreen display. The LED will not be lit when the display is on. The device will charge faster when it is switched off. It can take several hours to fully charge the EasyScreen depending on its initial charge level. If your system includes the wireless printer, you will need to insert the rechargeable battery, secure it in place with the cover and screw and charge it fully prior to use. Connect the plug adapter suited for your region onto the printer power supply and insert the small round plug into the charging socket on the right side of the printer. It is located under the rubber cover. Plug the power supply into the wall outlet. Note that an LED on the right side of the printer will flash blue when the printer is charging. Depending on the initial charge level, it can take several hours to fully charge the printer. To load the label roll into the printer, open the cover by squeezing the two latches together and allowing the cover to spring up. Turn the printer on by pressing the power button. Free the end of the label roll by removing the sticker. Insert the roll with the labels facing the cover. Pass the free end of the roll through the slot and close the cover. If the roll does not automatically feed a label through to align it, then press the feed button. This should align the label so that it is positioned properly for printing. 
Cables and their connectors are sensitive and should be treated carefully. The connectors on the preamplifier and each of the transducers contain several small pins that connect into corresponding holes in the socket. Find the raised dot on the connector and the raised dot or symbol near the socket. This will guide you about the proper alignment. Once they are aligned, push the connector straight into the socket. Do not twist the connector as you insert it, as this may damage the small pins. Likewise, when you remove the connector from the socket, carefully pull it straight out, being sure not to twist. To assemble the EasyScream for performing ABR testing, connect the preamplifier connector into the socket at the top of the EasyScreen. Connect your chosen transducer connector into the socket on top of the preamplifier that is labeled with an ear and sound wave. The dot on the connector should be aligned with this symbol. Connect the black, yellow and white electrode lead wires to the corresponding colored jacks on the top of the preamplifier. In all cases, make sure that the connectors are fully inserted into the sockets. Now you are ready to attach the appropriate disposable electrodes to the lead wires and the transducer disposable items, ear cups or ear tips, to the tube adapters for performing an ABR screening. See the appropriate quick guide for more information about performing the ABR screening. To assemble the EasyScreen for performing OAE testing, connect the probe connector into the socket at the top of the EasyScreen. Now you're ready to attach the appropriately sized ear tip to the probe for performing an OAE screening. See the appropriate quick guide for more information about performing the OAE screening.